Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, I have a little bit of a different video today. I will be doing a PSA grading and uh, some pickups uh, from recent uh, buys, uh, recent pickups reveal. Every single card is a Gemmin 10 and there's a few BGS 9.5 Gemmins, but for the most part, uh, it's about 40 or so, 41 uh, PSA Gemmin 10s. Uh, there's three stacks here, basketball, football, baseball. Obviously, baseball is the biggest stack because that's what I uh, like more than anything. So just want to go ahead and uh, do this video. I never thought I'd do like a PSA or a pickup reveal. Uh, I watch all your guys' videos, but I never thought I'd do one myself. And then uh, last few weeks, I've been picking up a lot of stuff. So I figured, you know, let me go ahead and do one. Um, I've picked up probably a lot more than what I'm about to show but every single one of these is a Gemin 10 so that's why I titled the video what I did so without further ado uh, thank you for joining me uh, this is me thank you for being here if you guys are not on my Instagram check that out too all right and uh, here we go so let's start with baseball so we got a Keston Hura Hura um, this is the uh, blue and white refractor and this one's a German 10 this one is not numbered but it's a uh, it's pretty tough German 10 all right then we got Nick Senzel and this one's a uh, chrome prospects also German 10 I don't think this one's uh, numbered either but German 10 how could you argue with that okay and then we got uh, Aaron Judge some of them I put these in bags already but Aaron Judge, it's the uh, Topps Update throwing variation, rookie, gem in 10. Another Aaron Judge, regular Bowman paper, gem in 10. Uh, we got two Acunas, same ones, uh, Bowman Prospects, first Bowman card, I guess an unofficial rookie card. Um, but there's so many rookie cards of the same player these days. Anyway, both came back German tens. I was happy about that because these paper ones are really bad quality. They usually suck. So anyhow, uh, Walker Bueller, uh, Topps High Tech. Really like this one. Um, try to show you. There you guys go. So German ten. Another Walker Bueller. I love this one actually. This one's Bowman Chrome. Um, and it's a refractor. And this is the first Bowman card. Again, doesn't have the rookie logo, but it's a 2015, uh, not numbered, but refractor. And again, gem in 10. All right. And then we got a bunch of Cody Bellingers. I'm excited about these. Tops now, gem in 10. Probably his like cheapest, crappiest rookie, but nevertheless, it is a rookie. And uh, gem in 10. So that's nice. Uh, I got, let's see how many of these do I have, three uh, 2017 Topps uh, Chrome update, so let me show you just one, okay, and uh, all three of them came back gem in 10, so I thought that was very cool, see my camera in the reflection there, okay. Um, and then I got a busload of these, and I love this one. I was super excited that they're all tens. So this is the Bowman Chrome, regular Bowman Chrome, no refractor, no numbered, nothing. But um, it is the rookie. It's not the first Bowman card. Uh, and this I have one, two, three, four, five, all same card, all gem and ten. So that was kind of cool. And I didn't uh, pay too much for these. I just paid for the grading. So that was cool. Uh, not a hard card to pull, but um, not the easiest card to get in a German 10. So to get five of them, definitely was excited about that. As I should be. Uh, this one's cool. This one's the only, uh, this one's 2017 Panini. Uh, Cody Bellinger, uh, it's the gray border, uh, makes it a little tougher to get in better shape. Uh, Gemin 10, and this one I believe is numbered out of, uh, what is this, uh, 199. Hope you guys are seeing this good, but uh, also Gemin 10. 
All right, and then these two cards, I was gonna make a separate video, uh, and I actually will for the vintage, because I have a lot of vintage pickups that I did as well. Um, but since these were Gem Intense, I thought I'd show them in the, uh, in the video of the Gem Intense, but I'll show them in the vintage video as well. 1981 Tops, the White Sox team and New York Mets team, and they are both the elusive Gem Intense. The uh, Mets team is not very uh, tough to find in a 10. However, believe it or not, the White Sox team is kind of tough to find. So, there it is, gem in 10. Cannot argue with that. Oh, my camera, come on, buddy. Oh, it's so annoying. All right. And then uh, here's some uh, BGS 9.5s. They're not PSA 10s, but I mean, they're gem mint, so I thought I'd show you these off as well. So Bowman Chrome, Raphael Devers, 9.5 with the 10 auto. Autographed, rookie, very nice. Um, this guy is a red sock, so that is not a good thing. However, um, I feel like he's uh, he's got a really good future. I feel like this guy could uh, could really do some good stuff, so. Hopefully he does, because uh, this is one of his definitely better rookies. So, there it is, okay. And then you have uh, this one, this one was really cool. I was uh, really happy to get this in 9.5. It's uh, Bowman uh, Inception, and it's D.D. Gregorius, excuse me, and it's signed. It's 9.5 with uh, 10 auto, and it does have the rookie logo right there. You just kind of hard to see it, because it's silver. Um, there's the 10 auto in the back, at least the greed is in the back. And then let's see, uh, yeah, so DD Gregorius, uh, this is not a numbered rookie, but uh, it's one of my favorites. So happy to see that in a 9.5. Uh, this one was okay, Kyle Schwarber, um, 9.5, it has two 10 subgrades. So I kind of like that first Bowman card. So unofficial rookie, um, but some people consider this a rookie. Unnumbered, unsigned, whatever, but still 9.5, 210 subgrades. So very cool, I like that. And then uh, we have this guy, also uh, a Red Sox, but at least he was in this card. I, uh, yeah, he. I'm sure he still is. Tristan uh, Cassis, and it is 11 out of 25. So a very cool card. I was happy to get that in a 9.5, especially since it's a um, orange um, orange refractor out of Bowman Platinum and uh, numbered uh, 11 out of 25. So that's very cool. I was happy about that. Okay, so let's go to football real quick. Um, actually, let's go to basketball. So uh, 86 Fleer, uh, Mike Woodson in a Gemman 10. So I always kind of secretly dreamed to have this entire set, the 86 Fleer set in a Gemman 10. Uh, this is my very first and only uh, 86 Fleer basketball in a Gemman 10. So I guess uh, I, uh, I guess it's a start, right? One card, one card, that's all it takes. So got this in a Gemman 10, very happy. Not a very pricey card, but I don't care. It's just, uh, it's a Gemman 10 and I don't care. And like I said, it's a start to my uh, full 10 collection. Um, another basketball, I believe this is a one of one. It's a Panini Donruss, it's the Optic, and it's a DeAndre Eaton, I believe that that's how you pronounce his name. Eaton, Eaton. And uh, it is a German 10, and uh, this card is the Shock. So that refractor version, it's called the Shock. Very nice card. It is not numbered or anything, uh, but again, it's a, it's a tougher pull. And uh, it's German 10. What is going on with this thing today? There it is. Okay. And last but not least, uh, Marvin Bagley the uh, third. This is a Crusade, which is a very easy. Uh, what's it called? Um, very easy insert to pull, but in a red. Uh, what is it called? Um, in a red prism, it's not so easy. And uh, getting it in a ten uh, is even less as easy. And it's number forty out of uh, one forty nine. And if I'm not mistaken, this is also a pop one, not because it's like the hardest card. It probably just isn't too many graded right now, but hey, I have a German 10, 
and uh, I love it. And actually, I love this kid, especially this, I, I think this guy, uh, I hate using this phrase, but I think this guy's super undervalued right now. Um, DeAndre Eden, I think, has a great future. I mean, he's going to come back, and, and I think he's going to rock it. So, uh, I have a few, a few of his rookie cards, and I really like this guy. So, uh, to football. Okay, so we'll start off with the Jared Goff. Oh, sorry, where am I going? Jared Goff, uh, rookie, German 10. Um, let's hope this guy gets better because I have a bunch of his rookies and uh, I'm not happy that uh, he's uh, not as great as I expected him to be this season, but I'm sure he's not as happy uh, himself. So Jared Goff, uh, Panini score, German 10. Uh, Daniel Jones, uh, same thing, German 10 uh, and also Panini score. Okay, there it is. All right. Uh, this one is beautiful. So uh, Jimmy uh, Garoppolo is uh, is a rising star. I think he's he gets he's getting better. I think his stuff again. Not to use that phrase again, but it's kind of undervalued. And I think uh, uh, Patriots are, are are pretty damn good. They always have been. Although I'm not a huge Patriots fan, but um, you know uh, I think this guy's just going to get better and better. But here is a nice rookie of him, and it's an X Factor. And uh, it's uh, Topps Platinum, um, which I believe they only make for football. And um, of course, it's a Gem and 10, unnumbered, uh, but beautiful X Factor. And again, Gem and 10. Uh, here's a card right here uh, Christian McCafferty. Uh, a lot of people are very high on this guy, but this is a Panini Classics, which is a one of the not so uh, pricier products, uh, but this is the glossy version. There's also like a flat paper version, which I also have, but not in a Gem and 10. Um, so this one's a Gem and 10, uh, very nice uh, rookie right here. Again, my uh, camera's just pissing me off already. Okay, so again, not numbered, uh, pretty, pretty simple card for the most part, but in Gem and 10. Um, for some reason, the new Panini stuff, um, and I hate Panini's quality control. I think it's terrible, but the Panini stuff, uh, there's a bunch of centering issues. I mean, corners and all that surface look pretty good, but just lots of centering issues with these new Paninis. And it's like a $3 product, but it's so hard to get them in like tens because of that. Um, here's a Michael Thomas. Uh, this is Panini Prime Signatures. I did not pull this one. I, I bought it and uh, this is a rookie cos cosmic. So let me get this here. There you go. Okay, so you can see the full actually a beautiful card like it really is a beautiful card and uh, I do not believe oh this one is I apologize it is 21 out of a hundred so that's pretty awesome right there okay if you can see that right there 21 out of a hundred and uh, yes of course a uh, gem in 10 as promised Oh my God, this is driving me nuts. Okay, all right, that's enough. All right, uh, next one, Odell Beckham Jr. Um, everyone, of course, thought this guy was the next, uh, you know, best thing since sliced toast. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. Uh, Panini, uh, do do do, German 10, ball, both hands, uh, longevity. So I'm assuming this is a variation. I don't know too much about this one, but uh, I'm assuming there was like a one hand variation or or whatever it is, or maybe like a jumping variation. But nevertheless, uh, German 10, um, and of course it, it is a a rookie of Odell Beckham. So can't argue with that. There it was. Okay, you guys saw for two seconds. And then here he is, uh, Kyler Murray, uh, red version, uh, Panini Absolute. Uh, this is one of the cards where, again, not necessarily too hard to pull, but uh, uh, just had a bunch of centering issues. I don't know. Uh, anyway, Panini Absolute. I love the Absolute products, uh, especially for football. Uh, I wish they made it for baseball again, or maybe they will. But Gemin 10, Kyler Murray rookie. Uh, look at this beauty, Levon Bell, Le'Veon Bell, uh, Blue Prism. So this is before prisms became the thing to collect. 2012, 2013, they had all these prisms. Um, again, uh, it's unnumbered, uh, but it is a rookie and it has a rookie logo and it also says rookie in case you don't know what that stands for, I guess. Uh, anyhow, so German 10, absolute beautiful card. Love this. 
Love this card. Okay. Uh, Carson Wentz, uh, pick up the slack, buddy. Let's go. I got a bunch of your cards too. Also, gem in 10. This is a Panini score, the regular one. Again, not a really expensive card, but um, gem in 10, nevertheless. Uh, this is an old school card here. Uh, 89 score, uh, Thurman Thomas. Uh, gem in 10. This is the one where I, I believe you get the. Uh, uh, Troy Aikman or Barry Sanders. There's a whole, a whole there's like four rookies in this one, um, as well as uh, Michael Irving. But this is a cool one right here. Chairman 10. Love this card. And the colored borders, of course, even though it's 89 and it was pretty decent quality, the colored borders make it, uh, uh, make it tough to get in a good grade. Okay, um, Todd Gurley, hurry up. I got a bunch of your rookies too. And uh, hurry up and do better, buddy. Uh, this is, uh, looks like Panini certified. Uh, not numbered, but it's a rookie goal team variation. And uh, again, Chairman 10. So. Okay. Few more, uh, Matt Ryan, 2008. Uh, wah wah wah. He's okay, whatever. Uh, but draft picks is a light blue version. It's uh, numbered out of 999, 543 out of 999. But uh, more importantly, it is a uh, gem in 10. So kind of glad I graded that one. Again, nothing too crazy special, but um, I did get the 10, so can't complain about that. Okay, and then here's some uh, 9.5s. I had to show these. Um, of course, Brady. Everybody loves Tom Brady. This is probably his absolute cheapest rookie. It is the Press Pass. I want to say it's probably his cheapest, if not definitely his cheapest, but graded at 9.5. Uh, so Tom Brady, uh, whether you love him or you hate him, you still kind of in a weird way love him. So anyway, regular Press Pass, but 9.5 gem mint, and it is Brady, so I had to show it. And then uh, last card. Uh, Royce Freeman uh, has a really cool name. Uh, 2018 Leaf Flash. Just just a, was a beautiful card and it was signed. So I figured, you know, let me go ahead and send it in. Um, see what happens. Uh, unnumbered, but uh, it did get a 9.5 and a 10. Um, anyway, pretty happy about that card. Anyway, that's really about it, guys. Thanks for joining me. Um, again, I will be making another video PSA reveal uh, with uh, more vintage uh, 50s, uh, 60s, 40s, 30s, whatever, 80s um, uh, PSA uh, returns and some pickups. And uh, so watch out for that one. But this was a Gemin 10 video. So hope you guys enjoyed. Again, thanks for joining me. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button somewhere here in this uh, bottom right area here. And uh, we'll see you for some uh, more great content, some videos. And, uh, you know, love talking to you guys and uh, love showing you guys some stuff. And uh, always a pleasure, guys. Anyway, thank you again. See you guys soon.